Alright, it's been brought to my attention that not everybody knows how to uh, speed up their computers free um, instead of having to download all the BS programs that everyone goes and gets screwed with. So I'm going to show you guys just one program called CCleaner. Alright, it's made by Pureform.com and I use it on my clients' computers all the time. It is my go-to program to clean up uh, computers for people who uh, need them to go a little faster. So you'll see here, you go to pureform.com and you click download. Now, you're going to see right here, they do have a supported version for premium support. Basically, you're helping to pay for the uh, developer who developed this, but we're not going to do that. We're going to come down here where it says download from pureform.com. We're going to click that one time and then we're going to uh, wait. This is an ad right here, so don't even worry about that. Um, it's automatic, so just click Save File. I already have it installed on my computer, but I'll save it anyways just to show you guys where it goes. Alright, so when it's done downloading, it's got to scan for viruses really quick. You're going to open it up and run it. And uh, you should be able to just double click it here once it's done scanning, but you'll see there's no viruses on this. So you just double click and you would click run. Now since I already have it installed I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take you guys over here and see Cleaner is right here installed. Double click to open it up and you'll see you got Cleaner, um, Registry, Tools and Options. Now the main thing you're going to worry about is the Cleaner and the Registry Cleaner. Those are the two biggest things that are going to slow down your computer is all the extra files and crap that you don't need. So you can see everything is already pre-checked. Don't check anything else because honestly you don't need to. Click uh, Run Cleaner. And I haven't done this in a while so it may find quite a bit. I have done it on clients computers before and it has found... Um, sorry, i got to close the window there. I've done it on files or clients computers and have cleared off anywhere from one gigabyte to I think the highest I've had was eight gigabytes on someone's computer uh, just with junk files, um, cookies, history, things like that. So this will definitely help clear up some room on your computer. Uh, it doesn't deal directly with too much of the speeding things up as much as the registry will help. Uh, you'll notice the registry fixing any errors that you have are going to be the biggest help to uh, speeding up your system. But the cleaner does definitely help a little bit. So we'll let this run through. Um, the nice thing about this up here is it tells you what you're running as well. Um, I'm running Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit. I got a dual-core processor, 1.83 gigahertz apiece, 3 gigs of RAM, and a, uh, my graphics card, which is just uh, standard graphics from NVIDIA. It's nothing special. So once this is done running, make sure you have your internet browser closed. Like I said, this removed 482 megabytes, which is almost half a gigabyte, or half, uh, yeah, half a gigabyte. Um, of memory off the computer which definitely helps and you can see most of it comes from your internet um, caches co or cache cookies things like that so once that's done you come over here to your registry cleaner and the great thing about this registry cleaner is it's free it's not like the other ones that scan and say you have all these errors and you have to pay to fix them this will fix any registry errors that you have just click scan for issues everything will be checked already and then it'll scan for issues and tell them to you as it comes down and I may have a few um, and when it's done you'll hit fix selected issues which we'll do here in just a second I've had this run uh, depending on the system I know I had a client that had I think 5,000 registry errors which is ridiculous but um, yeah it, it really does help speed up your computer when you don't have registry errors so you can see all the uh, registry errors that we have click fix selected issues no we're not going to make a backup to the registry if you want to you can if you want to be on the safe side in case something does go wrong in the rare event that it does and you need to uh, have a backup ready to restore your computer but uh, for the most part I click no because it would just become tedious every time to uh, make a backup so we had 44 registry errors and then you just click fix all selected issues and then close and that's it um, the tools you're not really going to have to worry about it it does have an uninstall tool so you don't have to go into your control panel to uninstall software um, I got quite a bit on here uh, startup it does let you have selective startup you're never going to play with that if you don't know what you're doing system restores you can set system restore points um, 
drive wiper you can uh, completely uh, reformat a hard drive. Um, the options, you got your settings, uh, your cookies, all this fun stuff. Nothing that you're ever going to really use. So we'll close that program. And uh, another program that you can get if you want to is called Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. And it's a great program if you are uh, if you don't have valid virus protection right now, because if you do have a virus or a Trojan or malware on your computer, it could slow things down. So what you want to do is you want to do a full scan of everything, and you'll select all your drives that you want to use and do the full scan. It generally on a, on a decent computer takes about an hour, depending on how many issues you have, and then you'll be able to uh, remove them from there. And this is another free uh, software um, utility that I use on clients' computers all the time. So. With that being said, uh, that's going to be the biggest fix for your uh, computer. Now, um, for the games, I know uh, there was a couple people asking me about different games, uh, specifically World of Warcraft, if you play that. Um, when you open this up, and I'm not going to run it because uh, I'm not running in windowed mode, I don't believe, so you won't be able to see anything. So I don't want there to be black on the screen. So anyways, you have this running, and I'm going to do a control alt delete to open up the task manager. Um, and I'm just showing you guys real quick how to uh, set the priority for a program to uh, for the CPU. Now you can see my CPU usage, my physical memory, the total amount of processes that I have. So you can see here we have World of Warcraft. If you right click and go to process, It'll take you right here, and we're just at the launcher right now, but when you actually have the actual game running, it'll say wow.exe, and then it'll have this asterisk and a 32 next to it. But you'll right-click, set priority, and you have all these different settings, and it's default set to normal. Set it to high if you would like. It's going to say uh, could cause system instability. I've never had issues, so hit change priority. All right, and also if you're running a dual-core or a quad-core computer, you can set the affinity, which the affinity um, tells you uh, how, what processors to use for this specific application. So you can see that I have it set to use my uh, two CPUs that I have on this computer. So that would be another uh, little trick to try to speed things up to uh, keep your computer from lagging while you play the game. Uh, graphics make a big difference. Um, we'll go into our device manager here. And um, once I load this up, you'll be able to see that I have everything installed properly, but I'll show you guys how to update your driver. So you'll come down here, and you'll see... What is graphics, graphics, graphics? Display adapters? No. Yeah. All right, so my display adapter is my graphics card. And what we're going to do is right-click on it, and you can click Update Driver Software or Properties. I'm going to go with Properties because this is what I'm more familiar with. Now you click over to driver and you'll see that you have all the different uh, options here. You can roll back the driver to an older version if the new version is causing instability on your system. You can update your driver, it'll do an automatic search of the internet or if you downloaded it from the company's website, depending on who you have, Radeon, ATI, uh, NVIDIA, Intel, depending on who you have for your graphics card, you can download an updated version for it and then save it to your computer and actually physically select it. I'm not going to do it because I know mine's up to date. The driver date that I have is 4-7-2011, so April 7th, 2011 is the newest driver for my um, NVIDIA GeForce 8400 MGS. And uh, that will definitely help a lot too with um, your graphics and things like that in the computer when you're playing the game, not to lag so much. So it's imperative that you go through these steps to uh, try to eliminate any issues that you have with lag and things like that and also with system performance um, you can monitor things with the uh, task manager here you have your performance here it tells you your CPU usage your memory uh, it tells you your physical memory how much is cached available free things like that to look at your services these are all the services that are running um, I have a lot of them stopped because I don't need a lot of them your networking, um, your wireless network connection, your local area connection, which would be your Ethernet cable plugged directly in. Uh, that is another big thing that plays a key role in lag and things like that with the games is your internet speed. If you don't have a, a high bandwidth 
to uh, be streaming the data on certain games, it's going to be slow. So you need to look into that as well, uh, especially if you're running DSL or dial-up, things like that. Um, it's going to hamper your performance significantly compared to being on, you know, some of these speeds now that go 12 megabytes per second and things like that with the internet companies. So I hope this helped you guys out. Um, if you need any uh, questions answered, don't hesitate to comment or uh, go to my website, pbswebdesign.com, and uh, shoot me a message over there. So I will talk to you guys later, and I hope this helped. All right, bye. All right, guys, just real quick, uh, hopefully you can see all this. It's going to be lagging like crazy because um, I am running a video recorder for the screen at the same time that I'm trying to record this, So, and the audio doesn't help either. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys here how to uh, set up your options for the game real quick. Uh, I do have my graphics turned all the way down. Normally I run on Ultra, but uh, this way you guys can see um, what to do. So drag it all the way down to low. Alright, and the thing I like to do is turn my view distance up to fair and then click apply. Alright, simple as that. I'm running uh, in windowed mode right now. You can turn your resolution down too. That way it's not so uh, large, and the smaller the resolution, the less um, pixel density and things like that. You can uh, improve your frame rates there a little bit. Also, under the Advanced tab, uh, this is what I have mine set up as. I have my triple buffering turned off, reduced input lag turned off, hardware cursor enabled, and my graphics API set to DirectX 11. Uh, some of you, if you are running an older computer, may only have DirectX 9. So uh, it just depends on what you have. My network, uh, if you have IPv6, which I don't have mine set up, uh, you can use that. The languages obviously are English sounds. Um, I don't really use that much, and I don't use the in-game voice. So that is what, uh, for the graphics at least, that would be the biggest thing for me uh, for the lag on the game itself. Um, that way you can kind of get things turn down to where it's not going to be so crazy and have you down to, you know, 5 to 10 frame rates a second. Generally, on this setting, I get about 30, uh, anywhere from 30 to 60 frame rates a second. And when I'm up at Ultra, I'm still hovering around 25 to 27 frame rates a second. But when I'm at Ultra, I turn my shallow quality all the way down, my liquid detail all the way down, and my view distance to fair, and I leave everything else at Ultra. Um, and it, it looks beautiful. You don't even notice the, with the shadow quality and liquid detail turned down that anything's changed. Um, the view distance, you don't really notice it that much anyways. So um, definitely a, the way to go if you want to try to improve your lag and your, your frame rates on the game. Uh, that way you don't have so much lag and you get a higher frame rate. Alright, I hope that helped. Uh, just showing you guys this quick little bit to add on to the uh, system tutorial on how to speed up your computer with uh, CCleaner. Alright, talk to you guys later.